43-year-old student nurse is on trial at Snaresbrook Crown Court, accused of sexually assaulting two female patients at Good Mays Hospital, which is a mental health facility in Redbridge in London. Now, I don't know how to pronounce his name, and to be fair, in this case, I don't really care, because this sick, twisted fuck-knuckle doesn't deserve it anyway. Snaresbrook Crown Court heard how this piece of shite approached his first victim towards the end of February 2021 when she approached him to gain access to a key to unlock her bedroom door. Prosecutor Robert Evans told Snaresbrook Crown Court that he unbuttoned his trousers and took out his penis and she remembers his penis as being uncircumcised. She, he then gestured for her to give him oral sex and pushed her head down. Being frozen she complied. Jurors heard how after a few minutes he told her that's enough and buttoned up his trousers. The jurors heard the recorded police interview with the victim as it was played in court, in which she said, I just sat down in my room in a state of shock. It was like I needed to thaw out because I was so frozen. I couldn't quite compose myself. I tried to just go on with the rest of my day and when I got the chance, go to the bathroom and wash myself all over because I felt dirty, ashamed, tarnished again. Of the assault, she recalled, I'd already frozen then. I just thought, comply until you can get out of it. I just wanted it to be over. His second victim said he told her on March the 4th that her nightdress was too short. She says she returned to her room to put on a pair of jeans and he followed her and took out his penis. He told her to play with it. Her hand away. He put it back. She refused to engage in sexual activity. Mr Evans said in a move that was clearly without her consent, he began to kiss her neck and continued to touch her inappropriately until she raised her voice. He then asked her for a phone number and she provided him with the false details. Returning to her room the following day, he complained she had given him the wrong number and his victim is said to have attempted to kill herself that very morning. But he continued to sexually assault her. On this occasion, pushed her to her knees and forced her to perform oral sex. Immediately afterwards, she went to the bathroom and spat in the toilet bowl. Once she returned, he initiated sex whilst fully clothed, dry humping her against the bed. After it was over, he told her not to tell anyone. Mr Evans told the jury he told her he would give her £250 and told her after she left the hospital, he would give her more money and look after her. After she left the room, she got a urine sample pot and scooped out what she had spat out to give to the police later on. The two women had been placed on the same ward as each other where they were able to talk and realise that they had both been violated by the same sick fuck. Taking a semen sample after his arrest, it was determined that his did match to one in a billion, conclusively identifying him as the violator. Shortly after he sexually assaulted her, the victim met up with him at Woodford train station during a week's leave from the hospital and attempted to record his, him admitting his crimes as she confronted him. He told her he viewed her as a sister and offered her money for her to keep quiet. Mr Evans told the court he says it was all initiated by her. He says he didn't want her advantage. He says in effect the complaint, complainants have made it possibly for money. The prosecution say they haven't made it up and happened, and it happened exactly as they said it did and he was taken advantage of them sexually. All hospitals have rules prohibiting staff engaging in any sexual relationship with patients, and in this case, women who have mental health issues, which makes it even worse. The women said they felt unable to tell anyone of the ordeal and said the staff at the hospital were aggressive in their approach. Criticising the hospital staff, the first victim said, Why does no one listen to the warning signs? No one called the police. No psychologist came and said you've called the police. Is there something you want to tell us? I've asked for an STI test. Why aren't they paying attention? You're put in his place to feel safe. Why aren't they picking up on these things? Well, this filthy fuck from Waltham Forest has obviously denied all four charges. But the trial continues, and I will bring you any further updates as and when they're available. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, as I know many of you will. Until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.